Okay, welcome back to part three of Simple Snake Game in Python 3. Um, so I've got my snake head and it is moving around. Um, I think I said at the end of the last video that we would talk about making the snake body. Um, however, I realized that first we have to make the food. So let's do that instead in this lesson. So the food is very, very simple. Um, we're just going to create a new uh, turtle. And so we'll just call that, you know, food. You can call it apple, whatever. I don't know what snakes eat. Uh, mice, maybe? Who knows? Yeah, anyway, so we'll call it snake food. Okay, so the same thing I did above. Now, I'm kind of a, a lazy person, so I like to do things efficiently. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy the snake code, snake head code, I should say, and change that to food. Okay, Because I know that this is working. So if I just copy it, and then I'm just going to copy that, and I'll paste over that. Okay, And I actually don't need this one because the food doesn't move like the snake does. And I want my foo to be a circle, and I'm going to use the color red. Okay, so it's going to start at zero. We'll say let's start that at zero one hundred to make it uh, clear on the screen. So let's run that and see what it looks like. Okay, so I've got my food. So I'm going to move my turtle towards it, and of course, nothing happens. Okay, so what we got to do is we've got to figure out if the two are touching. Um, now, a lot of beginners, what they'll do is they will compare the X and Y coordinates. Um, that will work for, in this particular case, for the first collision. But what we're gonna do later is we're gonna jump to a random position. And that might not be exactly you know, 0, 20, 40, 60, 80. It might be 25. So they won't, the X, Y won't be exactly the same. So we can't really check for that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem and measure the distance uh, between the two objects. Okay. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to do this in the main loop. Okay. So I can do it. It doesn't really matter. I can do it before or after I move. Um, let's do it before. And so what I want to do is I'm going to say if head dot distance. There is a built-in function to measure the distance between two turtles and the food is less than 20 okay now I know it's 20 because each of the, each of the basic turtle shapes is 20 pixels wide by 20 pixels tall so that means the center of one pixel to the outer edge is 10 so 10 plus 10 is 20 so that distance is less than 20 we can say that they have collided okay. so if that happens I'm going to move the food to a random spot on the screen. And so now we're doing random. I'm going to use something called the random module. So I have to go back up here and import that. And what the random module does is it lets us choose random numbers, which is very convenient. So I'm going to say x equals random dot rand int. It's rand, not ran. Make sure you got the d in there. Now, if you recall, our screen was minus or was 600 wide by 600 tall. So the center is 0, 0. So the left border is minus 290. Bottom, or sorry, minus 300. The bottom is minus 300. The right side is 300. And the top is 300. So I'm going to say minus 290, so it doesn't go off the screen, to 290. Y equals random dot int minus 290, 290. And I'm going to say food dot go to x comma y. Okay. Now, as I said before, I could just take this, copy it. I could just put this in here, and then put that in there. That's the same thing. I could do it that way. But again, I like to do it this way just because it's very, I think, clear for beginners what's happening in the code. Okay. So let me test that and see what happens. Okay. So I want to make sure my collisions are working. So I'm going to come down here. Okay, W for up. Okay, you see how it jumped? All right, so I think it's working exactly as we expected. Okay, so now that we've got, oops, harder than it looks. So now that we've got our food, we need to add the body. 
and we'll do that in the next video because that's a bit that's a bit complicated it's interesting but it's uh it's a bit complicated so hope to see you there bye bye